for you the great. I play big on McGraw Ave, and I've just been narratorized by Tasha on the narrative club. Jonathan Crawford, I play tank on McGraw Ave, and I just got narratorized by Tasha on the narrative club. Welcome to the narrative club. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> Y'all know why we're here. We're here to talk about this hot new series that hit the streets. So go on running. McGraw Ave. I want to introduce y'all selves, let my audience know. I'm Jonathan Crawford. Yeah, I'm Jonathan Crawford. I play Tank. And y'all just, y'all just get ready to keep it moving. Because Tank was grimy. We ain't no Tank was grimy. <laughs> yeah, tank, Tank trying to get money. <laughs> trying to sell the streets, that's all. No, no. It's, it hit on a lot of bases for people. They probably like, oh, it's snakes like that in every group. And then, then I was about to say, because I don't think I realized you were snake till you said something about a dope eating ass daddy. I'm like, oh, you, yes, my pops. Mm. Nah, he flipped it. I caught that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, he didn't, that's, that's when they hit dawn on me, like, like he did yeah, like, that. you got a dope man. I'm like, oh, nah, you got them fighting words. I don't care if you knew why my daddy was a dope man or not. You better not say it. If you done with the son, you don't care about none of the family. <laughs> he was a dope fan, though. You didn't yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he didn't lie. But at that time, you wouldn't even be with murder. Not yet, but when I found out that he ain't want to, you know, work with she you. He ain't want to work with me no more. That, that threw everything out right there. That's some shit. Didn't take that long. I was about to say. Now he was telling us, so it was like. Yeah, no, you was telling me. Nah, I, I never told. I told the police. I told him. No, no, that's what I'm saying. No, you was the one telling. Oh, you was telling every goddamn thing. I, I mean, well, not necessarily. I kind of like was paying the part. Well, I'm, my character, big. I'm 40 to great. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um Play. yeah. But um yeah, I never told. Like I made sure I had that in my script. Like that I wasn't gonna be no snitch. Like I, I was mad at the last line when I told him. Like I, I told Peach, I ain't wanna say that. You feel me? But me and that I wanted to work with move my film so bad. It was like shit. I I got outside of like the other characters I normally play if I when I fuck with film, you know what I'm saying? So my character was more or less like he was a snake, you know what I'm saying? For more yeah. better or less of a word, but he was in, he was drove by like ambition, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to become the top dog, you know. So he was best friends with Luger, but he was tired of being the right hand man. He wanted to be the man, you know what I'm saying? So he wasn't telling, but he was paying the police for information, you know what I'm saying? And finding out different things, you feel me? So that he could play chess, you know what I'm saying, so that's what I liked about him, that he was like me and him, like our characters are like, far as like Vic as far as um, us being calculated, you know like I do that throughout my life, like yeah. I was just jumping and shit out you know, and the, the police officer was shit, dog. he was terrible <laughs> Hell, it's just like, but it's the way that murder names just thrown in everything, I mean yeah. shit if it was somebody right. stealing grass, murder did it you like, yeah, <laughs> Murder did everything. Murder, murder have a clue. Yeah, yeah. He ain't gonna have a clue. Do nothing. Yeah. Like with things like really with, with season two for, for man, like, it's like, gonna be crazy. Oh, they gonna really try to get him out the way. And I know I kept thinking like the shot came by. Like, oh, they killed him. I know. <laughs> like cause he wanna murder so bad in the same sense. I wasn't dead. Like if you wanna, that, you wanna, that's dead, the he wanna thing. work with you either though. You wanna work with anybody? If you watch, look at me like so look, y'all don't play a T. If you watching this. Vic did not get a chance to fulfill <laughs> his true potential. Like, no, like, I mean, you Vic got... can't bring him back as somebody else. <laughs> I told him what to do. I told him what to do. If you want to bring me back, there's only one way you can bring me back. I say, has season two open up and murder just wake up like all that was a dream? Like, his daddy still alive.
when you're creative, anything will go. Like we made that they big majors have to be dead so he can shine. Tune in. I mean, y'all will never know unless y'all go watch. Remember, and they, oh, they tune. They, they so far tune in. They probably look at it now. They, I mean, it's like, like I just told them, um, the ladies that was here from the broad ass. They compared it to the wire. How? Yeah, that was, that, and that's yeah. crazy because I, um, I was just talking to T the other day and uh, murder too. We, we converse like us there sometimes. And, uh, and I was just telling you, bro, like, for you to have an independent, you know, project. Uh, this magnitude, bro, that's like only thing they can compare to what we do. Like, and that's just that just goes to show you like the professionalism of the cast and the crew, and the people behind the camera, and the people that wrote the script and the actors. Because this was independent. Like, I watched these guys work. Like, mm-hmm. everybody was working as a team. Nobody was above nobody. Like, and we was in some of the. I know the bars. Yeah, you feel me? Like, I mean, this everybody is hold the boom mic. Like, everybody, you'll see, <laughs> you'll see murder with it. Audio. Nobody just like, is, is a bud. And that, to me, when I seen that for myself, like, everybody working like that. Nobody, like, having no ego, bro. That was like, wow. Like, I seen why it was so successful. You know what I'm saying? With the movies, because you had it in any level of whatever you're doing in life. It can never go perfectly right because when the right team is assembled, somebody got to have an ego or feel away about this person no, doing good and he team. not, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I think that was one of the big things about it and why it came out so well because the actual, the, the series that you can compare to ours is no comparison. Like, there's other series on YouTube, like, as far as like webisodes and people that did an independent series. But, um, they can't compare to ours. The only one you can compare to is power. Like, the people who spent, you know, the, the real big budget. The you know, big series. budget film, keep them going. And a lot of people didn't understand, well, because they kept talking about the inconsistencies, the things that were going on. I was like, well, this project started in 2017. Okay. Like, I just said, like, hair change. Yeah, it's like, I got my hair change. Cut. Yeah. Like, it, it, <laughs> I had scenes with the curly hair. You know what yeah. I didn't even beat that. Oh, That's yeah. crazy. I, I opened up my first scene. I had the hair. Yeah, I was going to do the hair today. Because it's like you get so thrown and it like, 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 and that's the thing when you're doing this independent and, and independent and, and it's not like, okay, people around us. I'm going to do one of that. Life just takes turns and things happen. So when you had to come back in 2019, say, you know what? We're going to finish this project. Facts. Oh, and, I can tell. You know what I'm saying? He was a big reason why, um, you know, we stopped and started. You know what I'm saying? When that happened, that shut a lot of stuff down as far as with Mulan. You know, just the whole film and crew, just the whole family over yeah. there. Because he is a big part of that. So, like, R.P. bro, I knew bro. Like, I, for, for a moment in time, I wish I had known him longer. But he was a wonderful spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? He was a real dude. So, yeah, like, it was a lot of stuff going on while we was filming, like, like people like my cousin called me like, man, why you got that stupid ass? Hey, back behind your head. <laughs> I'm like, man, what you just talking about? He like, I mean, like, man, did y'all, did y'all have more grover? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, listen, bro, like, my barber messed up. And listen, if y'all want to Nate, his name is Nate, bro. He the one did it. I don't be watching this. Like, Nate, Nathaniel messed my hair. You call some of these different little haircut scenes. Yeah, my okay. barber messed my hair. And I don't go to all the barbers. And we, and granted, uh, McGraw Ave is a big project came out in 2020 when it started in 2017. The budget wasn't as big. The wardrobe budget wasn't as big. Then. Nah, we, we it wasn't it. big. Like, I mean, literally, literally, I just saw my brother. I said, like, we going to understand. I was just telling him, say, well, one piece of clothing. Yeah. Like, hey. one, piece, one piece of clothing on the whole 15 hour set. You can imagine one piece of being around. I'm going to go to the ass. We're working all day. I mean, and, and it's just like, we're is at right now with that McGraw app and it's like I like I said I watched your work and you said that film that we were just talking about was 20, 2008 2008 2008 and um I don't know who did the production on that I don't know if that was your first uh it was um my homeboy Donnie Armstrong Donnie Armstrong did it my vision linked up with my label but you were a rapper right yeah yeah, yeah. and that's, that's, that's so cool. actually what I actually do <laughs> but you Yeah, I, 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 I guess I am. Yeah, you know, because like the, the, the things that I've done.
Yeah, like, because you have never looked back and played that. Like, he just told me he does stage. And when I hear stage, I'm like, you know, Wow, that's like straight up live acting like some yeah, yeah like you play you, or something. That's cool. Yeah, yeah that's you, different. It's on cue. Exactly. There's no, there's no, if, if you messed up, oh well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's like freestyling. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that when it, your, it shows your range. But like I said, I was able to look at that that feel. And I ain't gonna lie. You all acting the quality of film, though. Damn. So, I mean, yeah. And that's 2008. So it's, 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 it's greater. You know, everything's exactly. different now. Exactly. So 2008, I'm like, y'all had dope ass location, but yo, like you said, that the role that you play, because most rappers have to be exactly who they is when they get them that mic. Mm. So they like to stick to the character that they are. Exactly. And in that project, I seen like, okay, and now I understand. Yeah. You're talking to you like, hey, oh no, I don't want to be labeled as no snitch. Yeah, yeah. You feel me like, like that? That he's playing Tiger. That was the character I played. Like, he was a lot easier to play because he was like the big boss man. And, that the third so it was like it was it wasn't hard to be that person you know what I mean mm-hmm. but versus Vic was a different type of character because he more or less was against the things that I uphold like I don't believe in like Snake being your best friend or, you know what I'm saying trying to fuck his girl behind his back but just things of that nature so it was like it was different and I like the way that Thomas and T helped me like build the character like when we would do certain scenes if I came across different they wanted me to be like look man you gotta this that and the third so it, it, it was like a lot of my acting and the, the, the projects that I've been on and the way I came across came because of the people that was behind them, you know the, the direction exactly like so it was because of Moolah why that shit you know why it came out so well and same thing with 5k1 Donnie was a good director so I just had I was I was I was basically blessed enough to be able to work with good people. Good you know directors, yeah, because that's the thing. I was like, I done seen movies with the same some the same cast. Yeah. <laughs> with the same cast. I have recently y'all done seen a lot. Like the same cast. And I was like, the difference. No, they like it's the director. Exactly. He said you have to be you and have you, to direct. Exactly. You can look at movie like Plug Love is a totally different film from Buff Up, you know what I'm saying? And, Birthday behavior is a totally different feel for 5 0. You feel me? So it's like, it's the direction. You know what I'm saying? You can see the same character, like, like, uh, like, perfect example, um, Lamar A. You know what I'm saying? Shamar, Shamar, my bad, my bad. I call call him Money. Money, (laughs) he played a character, I think it was, it's 5K1. I'm not 5K1, I mean 5 0, where he was like, like a dope fiend or something. Like he was no, like, oh, plug, up. He plug up. okay. He, and, and then you got him on uh, buffed up. He playing a nerd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then Lamar like Ave, he playing ball. He playing a serious like murderer. Everybody here like a demon. He like a monster. So it's just like you said about range. Like, and that's the thing that makes me want to act more because I want to get into more characters like that. Like it's so further from my personality. Like and that's, to see if it can really. That's, that's where it's at. Like, you want to do different stuff out of your yeah. range. So I had to ask the, my whole day, McGraw, uh, my interview, but I asked them, if you can write a role for you, what would it be? If they give you a script, you're like, hey, but we giving you the opportunity to write your role, write your character. To write my own character? Why? Ain't nobody ever asked me that. Um, <laughs> um uh, I would want it to be though like a regular working class dude, like a lawyer or something, like a you know somebody that I'm that I, I'm not at all. You know what I'm saying? So I can really learn about that dude, like a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, somebody that I'm not. You feel me? That I would never even think about being. You know what I mean? So I could just get off into that, like really learn about that person, and really learn about their job and their character, how they are. And then that that really to me test my acting chops. Like, am I really is this shit really funny? Like, can I really do this shit? When I try to do shit, I really try to do it the best I can. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be a real challenge for me to do like something like that. Okay. Hell, these are always always hard.
see how people looked at me. Not being up here, but being down here with them. I always wanted to roll like that. Wow. Um, just, just something. I'm just going to be me. Just be normal to see how people treat me. Then at the end, once they see who I am and what I am, still see what their reaction to me is. Whether they treat me good or bad. I always want to roll like that. I think I like saying what you said. Exactly. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like what you said. Like, yeah, right. That's like, right. That's like, 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 that's